What's going on, everybody? It's your homeboy Cable. I never care. Chilling out, maxing out, doing my thing. All right, y'all. Now, in today's video, we're going to be talking about a four subclass needed for Destiny healer slash speed class. Let's get into this. Now, I did make a video about a healer class, but this one's going to go a little bit more in depth, and the whole mechanics of it are going to completely change. Let's get into this. Now, what is the main problem facing Destiny players right now? Ammo. They decrease the amount of ammo you have in your gun. They decrease the amount of ammo you can get from an ammo pickup. They just decrease the ammo all in general. We need a class that can literally provide us ammo. We need a class that can provide us a higher fire rate. We need a class that can provide us higher reload, which is something we will always need in Destiny, mainly because they always nerf stuff. They always nerf these weapons, which means it's always going to get harder for us. We need a class that can basically become the balance. Now let's talk about this speed slash healer class. Now, for one, the speed slash healer class is going to emulate some of the abilities off of Warframe's Vault. And before you say anything, but Cable Line, that's in Warframe. So you expected anything original in Destiny? Ha! If you even played that game, that game copy like literally 80% of its content from other games. You mad? Now let's get back into this. This new speed slash healing warframe will provide players with more movement speed. Let's be honest, you move slow as hell in Destiny. That's always going to be useful. Now you can also increase the fire rate of your gun as well as the reload speed. That's always useful. Now, I know you're going to say, but Cable Line, wouldn't that, you know, contribute to the whole problem why they nerfed it in general? No, they nerfed it because people were complaining about one gun and they nerfed the entirety of it. Literally, you can look at the nerfs on these guns and you can look at the reviews about them. People that complain about these guns, they just nerfed the ammo just in general. For Crucible, I know you can only have one heavy ammo drop now before you had three or four. So, you know, go figure. Now... You also need something that's going to truly help you out, like heal you. We've been asking for a healer class for ages. Have our shields go right back up because one, when those shields drop, we're dead. It's not like it's a underlining health bar. We need something that can keep that up. I'm, I'm not talking about overshield. I'm talking about something that the Sunseeker class used to do. Now, the Sunseeker class used to provide you with an amazing, I'll say, reduction and your melee grenade and even your super will go up faster what happened they nerfed it that being said they do need a whole new character that is a healer class like their whole basis is healing now i know it's three subclasses right now so first subclass can be regeneration on your ammo and such like that now second subclass could easily be your health and the last subclass can be increasing the special right there i just said the three subclasses right there and you can't just you know go in a sub tree and manipulate it any way you want to but i just told you the three base classes right there ammo health and then your energy like you know your melee special and such there's the three subclasses right there it doesn't have to be overpowered that's balanced we need something that can, one, be highly helpful in raids. Because let's be honest here. I know you guys are so sick of the raids are already truly annoying. Now, the littlest bit of damage you take, you're done. And then especially on hard mode where you cannot revive. You need something that's going to give you health. Seriously. And people can say, oh, the Titan Shield. The Titan Shield is stationary. You need something that can really keep your health up. And it's going to be um, continually coming at a constant rate. Now, it most likely will not be a higher rate than the DPS is being fired upon you, but it will still help out. You need that. You truly need that. Now, let's talk about the whole radius of this thing. Now, let's be real here. Healer subclass should have something to where they can aim and fire it at people, and then that'll give them the health. Or they can just have a pulse. Now, I recommend it just a simple aim and fire, just like the Dark Hour T-Fortress 2, because with the pulse, it can be a little bit too overbearing and crucible. Plus, if he has something to shoot, it'll be very much helpful in the King's Fall Raids. If you have to stay on the totems, you can jump up, pop your teammates, and keep them going. Hell, if one of your guys is the runner and he's getting hit by those snipers, you can shoot him, cause him to get held, turn around and kill the snipers. Saves the whole day. It won't make the game easier. Well, it'll make it, I'll say, a little bit more convenient, but it won't make it so, okay, you know how with a Titan Hammer and you know how with the Hunter's Bow? Yeah, it won't be like that. It can be very balanced if Bungie really works this right. We need something that can get our health back up. We need something that can give us ammo. Yes, yes. Now, for the ammo one, yes, send out a pulse. Give us more ammo, yes. Now, I don't know how they could work it. They could say in PvP that you only can give special and um, primary ammo up to a certain amount. 
then for um you know pve you can give a vast amount more what they need to do is do some bit of um separation they need to work on these modes or these trees whatever you want to call them subclasses to work differently in pvp and in pve because of the two different landscapes you have to have them work differently in there now one of the subclass, like I said, increased the fire rate, increased the reload speed, giving us health. I mean, giving us ammo, yes. Other one is giving us health. Now, the last one, where you can increase a super, as well as your movement speed. You got one class gives you ammo, one class gives you health, and one class that increases movement speed. That's balance. Let's be honest. In year one, we had the Sun Seeker do that, where we could throw more grenades and melee people. Now, it's so hard. You have people going through the whole thing and not even using their super. Not even using it during the whole thing. Literally. So, it's nothing wrong with a healer class that can truly help you out. Especially if you're playing a single player like myself. Especially if you're on some high ass nightfalls. Especially. Now, I know what you're going to say too. The cable line. If they're healing, can't the low level people go into high level areas and win? No, because when you're low level you take far more dps than that can muster out so you will die yes you will die you have to be up these guys level in order for that not to hurt you like that prime example a little explosion right there okay that shot on me right there took out a little bit of my health if i was like what 10 or 20 light lower they would have one shot at me that's just how destiny light system works now guys put in the comments what do y'all think about this i want to hear what you guys have to say please speed slash healer freaking new character Let's hear what you guys have to say. Peace out, y'all, and talk to you later. I know they're going to be revealing E3 news about Destiny. Yes, in the upcoming few days, actually, about four days, they're going to be talking about E3 news for this. So this could possibly be the E3 news. Peace out, y'all, and talk to you later.